For those of you new to our channel, we are Rhonda and Joe with RVing with the Maracas. So hi everybody. Um, we wanted to uh, share with you our experiences as our, we traveled through Michigan. Before we start this video on about our last camping experience in Michigan before we headed south. Um, we were in Michigan um, for about a month. Um, we started um, our travels there at the end of August and we ended our travels there at the end of September. And it was an absolutely beautiful time to be in Michigan. It was a good time to be there. The leaves mm -hmm. were changing mm -hmm. as we got further north and west in the state. Mm -hmm. In the Porcupine Mountains, it was beautiful. It was pretty much peak fall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was pretty nice. Um, Michigan had really a lot of different landscapes. There was swamp, there were mountainous, mm -hmm. uh, mountainous mm -hmm. areas, rolling hills, woods, and certainly lots of water. Yeah, it was beautiful. We visited really, as Joe was telling you, lots of beautiful places. And I have to tell you, we enjoyed them all. It was just wonderful. We had never been up in the area before and truly liked it. Um, we, if you want to see more about our travels, um, check out our website at maraca.org. Um, you can see Joe's um, done a really good job on the website there, listing all of our travels, helping us keep track of where we've been, when we were there. Um, the campsites, the videos are there. So check that out, maraca.org, if you're interested. Mm -hmm. So we, one of our goals as we were going up, we really wanted to visit the Great Lakes. And so we saw Lake Erie, but we did this when we were in Ohio. And then while we were in Michigan, we were saw Lake Michigan, Lake Superior, and Lake Huron. And we were impressed with all of them. They were just absolutely beautiful. And Joe went swimming in all three of them. I didn't. It was too cold for me. I just couldn't get in that cold water. But what do you think? How was the swimming? I mean, Lake Michigan was kind of the wildest. I think it, well... Mm -hmm. Lake Superior, we had that one storm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so yeah, we'll talk about that. Was <laughs> mm -hmm. That was crazy. But Lake Michigan seemed overall the coldest and the roughest surf. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty wild. Yeah. It was. I saw that guy one guy windsurfing. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it was. Those mm -hmm. are huge, hundreds of miles long lakes. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty interesting, mm -hmm. having never seen that. But. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we um, we we were thinking about our trip, and what we really liked about some of the th or some of the things we really liked about the trip in the Upper Peninsula, and I think the beautiful sunsets on the lake were absolutely wonderful. That's one of the things I liked. Um, you know, the beautiful colors and the leaves changing mm -hmm. while we were there. We kind of mm -hmm. really pretty much were there at peak. Mm -hmm. So in some of the areas it was just, well we got to Michigan really kind of before it started changing or maybe just a little bit and then by the time we were in northwestern Michigan it was yeah beautiful. It was really pretty and we timed it so that it really wasn't as crowded up there when we were there. So one of the things, it was really a low stress area. There really wasn't a lot of traffic and the people were really friendly. It just was a nice place to be. And it might've been just the timing because I saw someone else's video and I can't remember the name, but they were saying how crowded it was when they were there like just a month later than we were there. So that was kind of cool. Um, we were really surprised at how many um, RVs were up there. I mean, as we passed, we're driving on the road, a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people in the area traveling by RVs. And I mean, really, none of the campgrounds were empty, especially near a weekend. Oh, yeah, so weekends. There people. was, you know, there mm -hmm. were definitely people there. Mm -hmm. But again, I would think that's sort of a peak season with the fall leaves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We love the hiking, and we really enjoy that, getting out and doing the hikes. Lots of nice parks, lots of nice trails. Of course, we timed it where the weather was really nice, so it wasn't so hot. We didn't really have any bug problems on any of the hikes. That was just such a nice treat. Being from Florida, that was a very nice treat. Yeah, I mean, it was interesting, you know, to hear back from the people in Florida. It was still well into the 80s and 90s mm -hmm. while we were there in Michigan. and mm -hmm. <laughs> We certainly didn't use the air conditioning at all. No, we, we didn't. used the heat a bunch. <laughs> we did. Yes, we did. So yeah. it was pretty cool up there. Mm -hmm. But it was, it was fun. Mm -hmm. It was nice weather. 
Yeah. I really loved the bike ride around uh, Mackinac Island. I thought that was really fun. It was a wonderful little trail, no cars. It was just very peaceful, long ride. It was really fun. And actually we timed it so we had a really nice day doing it too, which was good. So, you know, the pictured rock cruise was really great. Mm -hmm. That was a highlight of the trip. Mm -hmm. Just seeing the rocks and just the weather. I mean, it was like three to five foot seas. So yeah, we I was a there. little worried um, because it kept... overcome, <laughs> yeah. overcoming her uh, seasickness. Yes, yeah, yeah. That was they were warning everyone not to go on the boat that day because it was really rough. But actually, it worked out really well. It was it wasn't too bad. Um, the boat wasn't going side to side. It was just going kind of going up and <laughs> down, and so it wasn't. I yeah, I worked out. It all worked out fine. Um, we really tasted some of the cheese up there. It was good. The pasties, they were very popular. Um, we had those. Even though she really didn't like them. Well, you know, beef and bread and... Potatoes. Potatoes. It's just not my favorite meal. I'm more of a salads, fruits. Yeah, it was like eating... Dessert dry, kind of person. Dry stew. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the beaches on the lake were wonderful. Miner's Beach was beautiful. Um, waterfalls. Yeah, a lot of water. We saw a lot of waterfalls. It was fun. There was mm -hmm. some real nature, although you could tell historically that the areas around these lakes had been logged over, mined, and all kinds of yeah. man-made activities, but mm -hmm. they had pretty much grown back, uh, you know, fifth generation, sixth generation forest was growing up. Mm -hmm. So a lot of it was pretty heavily wooded, but mm -hmm. they were definitely, um, you know, everywhere we went, there was old copper mines, iron ore being cut, and mm -hmm. trees being cut, and all kinds of stuff. So it was interesting. Yeah. Just shows you how resilient Mother Nature is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we had a couple surprising events. Um, I, I'm gonna talk about the snake in our shoes. That was a little alarming to me. I just, when I walked out and saw that snake, I just like, oh, freaked out. I screamed, said a couple of bad words. We didn't put that in the videos or anything, but um, that was a little alarming to me. So definitely shake your shoes out when you go outside, you know, move them around before you stick your feet in them. Or bring them inside. Or bring them inside. Yeah, that was another thing. Yeah, it took me a while to leave my shoes outside again. But, um, and then, um, you want to talk about the winds? Well, I, when we were camped, at this campsite right we were parallel to the lake shore mm -hmm. and we got a really nice sight and one day it, well a lot of times it was pretty windy but we had a storm come up mm -hmm. with thunder and lightning and it was like about two hours of really strong winds yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, you know we it was really rocking it was yeah. Mm -hmm. really rocking in here so we were kind of yeah we were a little scared yeah. wondering what was going to happen but it eventually just wore itself out yeah we really hope you enjoyed the video um, um octagon um, park um, we're going to show you what we did there and um thanks for watching our last campground in Michigan is on Taganon Township Park near the top of the Upper Peninsula and located on Lake Superior our first night, we were in a campsite one site back with a view of the lake. Then we were able to upgrade to a lakefront site on beautiful Lake Superior. We stayed there for six nights. We enjoyed the nice campfire and hot chocolate. We met some of our neighbors and enjoyed hearing about their lives and travels. This is the advantage of having a site that is not private. It really does encourage socializing. Here's a little bit of the campground. We have water and electric here. Joe just goes into Lake Superior. I hope it looks kind of cold. The town of Antagonon was walking distance from the campground. We visited Sly's Cafe and had lunch. The food was delicious, especially the desserts. 
The Porcupine Mountains is one of the reasons we wanted to visit the area. According to Wikipedia, the Porcupine Mountains, or Porkies, are a group of small mountains spanning the northwestern upper peninsula of Michigan in Ontogadon and Gojibik counties near the shore of Lake Superior. The Porcupine Mountains were named by the native Ojibwa people supposedly because their silhouette had the shape of a crouching porcupine. They are home to the most extensive stand of old-growth northern hardwood forest in North America, west of the Adirondack Mountains, spanning at least 31,000 acres. We visited Lake of the Clouds. This was a nice area that provided a beautiful view of the mountains and the lake. From there, we hiked down to Mirror Lake. Another day, we hiked to several of the falls throughout the area. These hikes were very nice because the park had built boardwalk trails along the river and there were stairs up and down to each of the fall areas. I'm not sure we captured this very well in our photos, but it was a very nice and beautiful place to hike. There goes Joe across the bridge. Lake Superior. Oh. I guess. Gotta be. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.